Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We're here once again with the Cursed Estate and we are ready to move in for another adventure. We are first of all going to go and get ourselves some districts. So people have said that Bank is of course really good. We can't afford that right now. But mainly, the main thing people have been saying that I should get is the uh, the vintage or whatever it's called. Vineyard thingy. The thing that produces blood or wherever that is. Um, because we're going to need that soon. Um, here it is here. So... We need 125 of those, so we can swap over some crests to get that. Um, so we're swapping crests for these bad boys. And we need 125, so that's this is going to be kind of rough. We're going to be using a lot of crests here. So that's 108. And then maybe... How many of the papers did we need? Oh, bugger. I have to scroll every time. Oh, no, no, I don't have to scroll, okay. Where else is it? Okay, it's just after these. Okay, we need 125 of those. Okay, so we can swap some of the papers as well. Good, good, good. So go like this. Pop a few of those. Okay, cool. Right, there you go. We got that. Um, and we have this now. So we're going to be getting some blood brewed each week. There's some, probably some other buildings we can go for as well. We can look into those as we go. But that is the main one that you guys suggested. Which is fair. That one's very, very important. Anyways, we have a group ready. We're going to try the siren again. I'm a little scared. But I think this time I've got a pretty good group. So... Uh, we've got Navas uh, leading the front, being our main healer. Uh, he's got both healing trinkets as well as his healing here. I think he should be able to do a pretty good job, especially with the Banner of the East, which is going to be a pretty big buff to Prot when he heals as well. Obviously, his healing is a little bit janky in terms of the ranges, but I'm thinking with the buff, we should be ma mainly okay. Uh, we've got Blaze here as a good bit of damage, uh, mainly using Crush and um, Rampart here. Although Rampart does have his issues because that will pull uh, us out of position to be able to um, easily take care of uh, our healing. Then we've got um, Orwell here who um, has the resists which are really nice. Uh, but also he's got this nice ability to debuff. So we're going to be debuffing um, stun resist and increase crit chance as well as having our own stun which is really nice and then we've got helen as well who we haven't brought on in a little while she's going with the buffs to skill chance and resists as well as the peacekeeper a, ma a massive negative to her damage but a huge bonus to her health and prot which means she's going to be pretty tanky in fact she's probably the most tanky person on our team which is weird uh, but we've also got curve survivor here um curve survivor here curve explorer here so, I just, this group just kind of made sense to me. The only thing we don't have is the ability to fight through prot, which we experienced being a problem with the Shark Boys last time. So, I'm a little bit worried about that. But we're just going to embark and see how we do. I'm mainly doing this because the Bloody Rapier is just such a goddamn good trinket. And I really want it for our um, blood-based attackers. We're going for a medium mission here. So, we'll go... Um, we don't quite need 24. Eh, actually, 20 is fine. We'll, we'll take... We'll take 20. Um... I haven't actually had a look at um, Nighttime Ambush. Oh, there, there you go. Prevent Nighttime Ambush right there. We got it. We're good to go. Okay. Um, and then we're in the curve. So we'll take four of those. Two of those. Four of those. Four of those. Three of those. Two of those. And we shall take... 16 torches. Okay, I think we're good to go here. This should be decent. Um, I might bring two of these with me as well, just as some extra healing as a just-in-case sort of thing. And I think that should be all right. I think we should be okay with that. Um, and we'll just embark and see how this goes. I think I'm a little worried because we don't have a ton of damage on our group here. The main damage is coming from Blaze here with the bonus 40% plus crit dodge speed. Uh, we do have plus 40% stress on Blaze here, so that could be problematic. But I'm... I'm, I'm risking it. I think it should be okay. Um, we'll just have to take good care of him. Anyways, let's embark on in and see what we can do against the in siren. In financial desperation, I struck a bargain with the ancient things that surfaced in search of sacrifice when the moon was right. Their price was the delivery of an obscure idol. and one. We have already heard this before, but I'll listen to it again. Why not? Troubling portent. The pact struck. My newfound accomplices slipped silently beneath the brackish water. 
A fearful stirring at the edge of the torchlight betrayed a familiar witness and gifted me with malign inspiration. Indeed. Anyways, from Rocker in here, we have the Ravings of Madness Part 1. The town cells have a new guest, Uriel. Another issue of his rabble rousing. Though his, uh, this time he sits in a cell instead of the chapel. A request has been um, done due to his forms uh, from the bishop. Though this time the captain doesn't care for the special treatment. The captain stands before the cell. Um, staring uncaringly at the man on his knees, screaming, How dare you? Do you even understand what sort of trouble this action will get you in? He shouts from the cell. Not only am I an actor of the church, but you have stolen my holy implements. She sighs and rolls her eyes. Your implements will return to you, um, return to you on your time being served. It's only a week. Calm down. Calm down? I will not allow such an insult to be, uh, to go unattended. She shrugs. Fine, Uriel. Shout all you want, but there must be punishment for your repeated disturbances of the peace. The bishop isn't here. He isn't the law here. I am. Perhaps sometime um, I will help you. She raises her brow um, when the shouting turns to pleading and tears. Please, I'm sorry, truly I am, but please let me serve the chapel. I cannot exist in such a sick place. Sin oozes from here. Please, set me free. She turns. Perhaps that's what will uh, what will be needed to stop you from causing trouble. She sighs again. I feel for you, Uriel, but there must be ramifications for your actions. As she walks away, hearing the man weep behind her. Very interesting. I really like that. Right, good thing is about bosses, we're just going straight there. That extra uh, scouting chance already proving to be useful. Hoping we can get some good stuff done here. The light, the of Lovely. We don't have any stealth, uh, de-stealthing things, that's gonna be problematic. Basically, as long as you don't stress out Blaze, we'll be fine, because that 40% extra is gonna be problematic. Always want to start with our buffs here to resist, so that helps out a ton. Um, and we want to go with the backline stun. That is gonna be a repurse, I think. Oh no, it didn't. Nice. Lovely. Um, we can set up repurse here. A little bit of repurse. Although marking him probably isn't the best idea with his stress issues. Um, and we'll do that. Crit 14 there. Healed back to full. Gains prot. The prot that we gain is super valuable. Like, really, really strong. So I'm really happy we've got that going on. Um, and then damage and reduction in prot is super useful here. Also, get that crits received and stun debuff. All, all really good stuff, to be honest. Um, we can also, also bolster if we want to here, but I think I'm just going to go for the damage on. Um, not having the ability to cut through prot is certainly going to be a problem. But I think it's something we can deal with in due time. And we do have Blight as well here, which is going to be nice. Um, we'll go for some Blight there. Uh, Blight's going to do good damage across the board. We don't have anything that buffs Blight at the moment, which is a shame, but it is what it is. And we're going to be resisting a lot. We've got um, a lot of resists up, so um, Blight and Bleed isn't going to hit us all too much, which is really nice. Lovely. Try and cut through this guy as we go here. Try and take this thing out. This is actually a pretty rough group, to be to be honest, to start with. There's a lot of prot here. I'm, I'm probably going to have to start bringing out people that can cut through prot more often. It just is what it is. But we'll, we'll deal with that as we come to it. Seaward Slash isn't so bad. It's debuffing the damage they deal and the prot they have right now. Mainly debuffing for the prot, because cutting through that is pretty essential. Five heal across the board is not bad at all. You're dead next turn. That's nice. Kale up. That's annoying, but we can deal with it. Ah, you're dead as well. Lovely. Yeah, just keep cutting through that. See what slash. Um, that's all of this is gonna hit you, isn't it? Uh, I think I can hit you actually, and that'll work. No, it didn't. Bugger. Little bit overkill on that guy, but hey her. Uh, he can refuse healing sometimes, which is a pain. You dead. We're mainly going to be getting our main damage from Blaze here. He can do quite a lot. Hey, resist that bleed once again, of course. We do also have this as well to cure Blight and Bleed, just in case we do get hit with it. Um, and it can heal for a good bit as well. So that's that's nice. We have a little bit of extra help with Helen there. It's not all, uh, all bad. This is a good chance to stun here. And the debuffs keep on stacking. Those crits will be coming out pretty hot and fast. Uh, we're on 24 crits received at the moment. 
Uh, still want to go for the heals where we can. You know, the crit heal there is lovely. We want to keep everyone topped off as much as possible. That's another bit of blight on you. Honestly, try and get an extra heal out of this because he's going to die next turn anyways. If we can get an extra heal out of it, why not? Unfortunately, we didn't, but we didn't need it, so that's fine. Unforgiving. Good, good. I do have these extra two here. Just to, that, that, The only heal for six, it's not a lot, but it's like just a little saving grace if things start to go wrong. Hey, we found our secret room already. That's pretty nice. Uh, these are good. We'll get rid of a negative quirk here. Um, chance for a fuse healing is probably the best one to get rid of right now. Yeah, let's tr let's try for the uh, minus ten percent healing here. Superstitious is the one we all want to get rid of. Ah, unfortunate. Dark dungeon phobia is fine. Like that, that doesn't make any difference to us really. Eighty five. 95, good, good. Really? A 95% chance? Are you actually kidding me? This game sometimes, man. This game sometimes. It really treats you dirty, doesn't it? Right, not too bad, bad of a fight here. The guy at the back, Corrupted Captain, can be a little problematic, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I want to go for the double stun off the bat, I think. Even though the stun resistance on some of those is high, we have high stun chance, so that's not so bad. Uh, we'll also go with Bolster here, while we've got the uh, the surprise going on. I want to do a party heal 7 there across the board, lovely. I think this guy's mainly going to just stick at healing. I don't think I'm going to be doing too much attacking with him, but it's there as an option if we want. But Navar, he doing his sniffing, he doing his sniffing, he doing his healing. That's all he do. That's going to be annoying if we get stunned here. Which we shouldn't do. Yeah, like I guess we've got good resists. I mean, resists here are absolutely through the roof. <laughs> um, so we don't have a ton of prot here. Actually, you, you have quite a lot. Um, yeah, let's let's still go for this. We want to reduce their damage, anyways. Reducing their damage and reducing their crit is is kind of crucial. There we go. There's a crit. That'll keep the stress off of us as well. Keep that at bay, which I'm hopefully uh, gonna see help us out quite a lot. A little bit more stress there coming in. Let's go for the blight on you. Just to cut through some of that prop. Incoming with the bleed. Luckily we resist. We come back in and get some prop for ourselves. I love the fact that, that gives you prop. That's so goddamn useful. And the stun resist from these guys. So the stun resist isn't that important, but I just sort of added it on as an extra, because it's like, why not? We're already hitting multiple targets, so uh, kind of works out for us. Ah, dodge, unfortunate. Keep going with that blight. Just cutting through that prot is super important. Be nice to just let him die via that. More bleed coming our way, but... Oh, I was going to say we will resist, but we didn't, sadly. We heal up there. Unfortunately, got a low heal, but the good thing is we still get the massive prop bonus, even if we don't get the heals. 24% uh, crits received on all these guys now. We'll start going for stuns at this point. Um, there's another crit. Lovely. Uh, let's cure that off. Why not? We got a crit, uh, crit heal as well there. That's quite nice. It's not a lot to heal, but why the hell not? There you go, we heal you up. It's kind of weird to have only one main attacker, but Helen is also doing a good bit in terms of Blight, so that's not terrible. Unfortunately, that didn't really work out the way we wanted it to, did it? But hey, her. Uh, more bleed, but it's not going to hit. I love the fact that we've got so much resists on this team. It's so good. I should have gone for the stun there. Would have uh, bypassed the guard, but oh well. Yeah, a little bit of a waste there. It's fine. There's a crit, baby. Yeah, this is a good group. I mean, honestly, bringing Orwell at any point is going to be amazing. Oh, uh, that's just a random dude tapestry, I think. I don't think we got that for any reason. Uh, get rid of that blood for now. We will quickly pop into secret room. I know that I'm not. I like. I'm not going to like get rid of the light and do this. I'm just going to go for it. That's kind of annoying. Um. 
Let's get rid of that and that. Unfortunately, no trinket, but it is what it is. So far, I think this group's doing a good job. Obviously, that that is Sans Shark Boy. Okay, you're, you're only on seventy percent now. Eighty-five. Um, Shark Boy could could turn up and really throw a spanner in the works here. May we find we'll see how that goes. Uh, wait a minute. We we should probably go back this way because there's three curios there. There could be some good stuff. Extra torch. Extra food. For money. I guess these narrow corridors. Unfortunately, he has the uh, the claustrophobic trait, so he gets stressed out in hallways. This isn't so bad. Always, always put this up, especially for the disease resist. The disease resist it adds is so good. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't give any stun resist, as we just just saw there. Um, always open with this. Unfortunately, he resisted. I kind of expected that. He's got good resist. Bit more stress coming out there. Unfortunately, Helen's really been the one taking the brunt of the stress at the moment. Wow, that's a huge heal. Holy hell. Crazy good. Good crit, good crit. You get minus stress on crits as well. That's really nice, because that offsets some of the uh, crit bonuses we're getting. See, look, that disease resisted there. It's very important for us to resist diseases at, um, at all times. Ooh, almost got him. That's annoying, because if he taints this guy, I'm well annoyed. Ah, you've curled up on that guy as well. I can, I can blight through that, though. That's fine. Nah, I'm going to blight this guy. This is more important. Kills him in two two hits. Brine. It's brine time. Only four heals. Four is still good, though. Get you. Ah, dodge and repurst. Did get that stun there. More tank coming out. Tank's annoying because it can give us. Yeah, it can give that disease, which I was hoping we wouldn't get. Plus 15 stress, dude. Okay, so he's gained damage and speed, which is nice, but that his stress is now through the goddamn roof. The amount of stress that he's gaining is kind of insane. Not good. But, it gets cured after beating the Allure and Siren, so... Kind of works out for us. Slowly, Everyone heals up. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Dude, leave him alone. Thank you for dodging that. Oh, I was hoping for the kill there. God damn it. There you go. That gets the kill at least. Get rid of that annoying enemy. And this guy, he does have some prot, so a little bit annoying, but we're, we're, we're working our way through it. Slightly annoying. Good, good. Keep the heals going, Nava. I like that. Okay, you're dead now. Good, good. Crit there. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Um. Now nah, I'll leave those. This is fine. Right. Yeah. This is not not great to get this curse because it puts our health in a slightly more risky spot. It puts our stress levels absolutely through the roof. We're at fifty five percent bonus stress now. Uh, which is real, real bad. We're just going to have to deal with that. We'll probably camp after this. The match is Not too hard of a battle again. We get another Corrupted Captain there. Ooh, we did de debuff all of their speed because of his disease, which is unexpected and very, very nice. Ah, oh, dude. And then he misses. Definitely disease resist because we don't want too many people getting plagued. Probably won't stun both here. Oh, we did. Lovely. Got to try it. Got to, you got to attempt it. Super valuable. I like it when they go for Salty Gouge because bleed is unlikely. Oh, we did get a disease though. Weak heart. And they got the bleed as well. That is really unlucky. Weak heart. Oh, dude. This guy has some bad negatives. 
Uh, minus accuracy, minus damage, minus health. More minus health, plus stress. Oh, God. Not, not great there. Not great. Good damage there. Gonna have to get a stun on that guy, I think. Good blight. Please don't stun him. Please don't stun him. Please don't stun him. Yes. Resisted. Beautiful. Ah, I resisted it. Fuck me. It's annoying. It's hoping to get that guard gone. Why do, you, why do you absolutely love Invigorating Tune on this man and only Helen? Like, why? I say this man, it's not a man, it's Helen. But you, it's just bloody annoying, that's what it is. It's just bloody annoying. This, this bit of the battle is the bit that gets really slow when we're just fighting through prop. Ten and ten on both of those guys, that's good. Let's do this. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Stun, there you go, we actually got it this time. The fact that you can taint from all the way back there. Dude. Luckily this is gonna get healed off everyone at the end of the fight, if we kill the boss. But it's still annoying though. Leave my people alone. He's, he's still at full health, the little bugger. Cure of the sea. Oh, that's not... Oh, I was going to say that's not a big heal. It fucking cured all the blight off him, the bastard. Wasn't expecting that. Ah, that's the crit we're looking for, baby. Textbook takedown, indeed, Blaze. I like that a lot. Good heal. This is this this healing setup has been good. You're dead next round. Sadly, we can't do much with this turn. Right, now let's just fight through the prop. Hope we don't take too much bleed. Nice perk through there. Ah, he dodged that. Bugger. There you go. Nice crit to end it off as well. Hey, we got Hair of the Sea Dog there, right. Uh, quickly, let's just go. Push on to the task's end. There we go. That cures him. Probably should have cured him first, but oh well. Uh, emeralds. Get rid of the holy water. Another stack of money. Get rid of the portraits. There's only two portraits. They're useful, but... Right. Get to this next one, and we'll do a, we'll do a camp. We've not really needed to camp yet. We're, we're good on HP. We're mostly good on stress. We'll see if there's a battle in here or not. There isn't. Okay, let's camp. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. We can do this. We're not going to get that many food checks here. Right, so let's see about camp. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Self only remove disease. That's pretty good. We're going to have to go with this, which is slight chance for stress on people, but it's not a lot of stress. Right. Um, 10 dodge, 15 dodge. Okay, this is good. We'll definitely do this. Then this is good. We'll do that. And then we'll do this. Oh, he got rid of both the diseases. Hell yes. I was not expecting that. Okay, pretty good rest. There's but a scratch. Okay, let's uh, quickly get into another diary entry. So this is uh, from Dr. Samus Junkie, part one of Bacilla's diary entry. Experiments, results, intriguing. 
To start off, I've successfully returned Lady Vixen to the realm of the living, so to speak anyways. It has been a long time since I've done a resurrection. Longer still on a human, but an undead? That's a first. Admittedly, I didn't expect it to work. How uh, do you return an undead to its own life? I don't know the specifics, but the being I call upon works miracles beyond imagination. I should be happy with that. The body was cer um, certainly still shaking off the stiffness of the grave and seemed to exhibit some different quirks that she had during the first shot life. But all in all, I would call it the ritual successful. Maybe someday I can return Kim Morgan to our mortal coil without changing her too much. I know Chaos would appreciate that. And Eileen could have the guilt off her shoulders. Did I read that already? If I did, I apologise. That's, that, that's only been posted yesterday, so I don't think I did. Anyways. Let's get on with the battle. In fact, do you know what? No, I'm going to do one more die range because we've got quite a few today. Uh, we've got another one here from Ni uh, from Penn Simmons. This is for Nyx. A letter delivered. Blood and ink. This is what arrived on Nyx's doorstep as she left for the day's adventure. A letter crumbled slightly from the hurried seal displaying an inverted symbol of the Church of Light. This must be from one of her sisters. She grabs at it and rushes back inside her room. She breaks the seal with her dagger and is greeted by words slightly blurred by splattered blood that must have been hit while the ink was still drying. Sister, the church is still after me. I thought I would find shelter in Verneborg, but another one of the church crusaders showed up and I don't expect them to say no to someone wielding a claymore. I wish I had your skill with magics. Maybe then I could uh, stand be a better chance. I'll leave for your hamlet. You seem to be liked there. Maybe um, they'll take care, take me in as well. I can take a job at the tavern or something. There's a knocking at the door. I leave through the window and drop the letter off when I'm on my way out. Soma. A splotch of ink slightly obscures some words. The ink must have spilled. The letter continues in a different handwriting and Nick's heart sinks. Nix, I deliver bandages and food to the hamlet from here in Venerborg. Your sister has been executed by the Blades of Light. The crusader broke down her door and summoned holy light to blind and stun her before chaining her up. She is to be executed. She was kind to me when she uh, handed off the past letters to deliver to you. She was not the evil they accuse her of being. She told me to find and deliver this letter to uh, you with another message. Don't avenge her. Save the hamlet and save your friends. Prove that you are not evil. Prove that you are good and the truth is absolute in darkness and in light. I am sorry, I could not get this to, uh, to you in time to save her. And the Crusader will be gone by the time I do. Nyx collapses in tears. This is the price of truth. Those uh, that find power in hiding it away will stop at nothing to prevent it from being shone. If it weren't for the local priests, Renault and Titania turning a blind eye to me, I would have been drawn and quartered as well. She holds the letter to her chest as she weeps. God damn, there's some deep writing here. Holy hell. Anyways, let's get into the fight. I'm not particularly sure what to expect against the Siren here, but I think we should be reasonably set to do reasonably well. Hazards, possessed by oh, we... Intent. We don't have a fucking thing to use on this. So for the next 12 rounds, we have a massive debuff. That's very not good. Anyways, no fight fights on the way there. Let's just get into the fight. And see how we do. I'm a little worried. I'm a little scared. But I think we should be okay. Taking our healer right off the bat isn't ideal. But he doesn't have a lot he can do. Stun chance isn't great against her. Um, Blight is pretty high as well. But I think we should be able to get through that. Yes, we did. Nice. Still puff up our resists. Devour. Not having a healer right now is certainly problematic. Um, yeah, we'll do this because this gives us dodge for the whole fight. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. That's kind of okay. I'd rather you just heal her than attack me. Devour's okay because it's probably not going to bleed us very often. Ah, she resisted. That's a pain. The resists are going to be a probably a pretty big problem. Uh, our dodging right now is on point. I'm liking that. Oh, I can only do that from the back two positions, that's why. Um, let's move you back. Let's create some slight problems, but I think we'll be okay. Helen can still do some stuff from up front. <laughs> Just heal yourself, why don't you? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Return to me. And we do have the ability to push forward with his attack, so that's fine. 
Blaze coming in is a little more annoying. That's a good crit. I like that. High Tide? I don't remember what that does. Ah, oh, High Tide is uh, in additional enemies. So Helen's going to be kind of useless in certain scenarios here, which is a shame. That's going to be a stun as well. That, that pushes her back, though, which is... Oh, wait. She's not good, actually. God damn it. Oh, we got the stun. Wow, that is incredible chance to get the stun there. This is going to be a little harder than I thought, I think. Devour. We did get one bleed there, but that's fine. Rampart again? Really? The same thing? Ah, oh, we didn't. We got stunned both times as well. That's very annoying. At least we can heal through that pretty easily. But the, uh, one thing I completely forgot about with this fight is that it returns everyone to the back. That is such a huge downside in this fight. Because it just it makes some of our heroes fucking useless. You brought Blaze on again. Okay, he dodged at least this time. What's our stun chance? 130. Pretty good. We'll, we'll try stunner. Yeah, nice one. She's got two actions, I think, so stun's that super effective, but it's decent. Ah, oh, that's such a low roll for a heal there. Pain in the ass. It's very annoying when you get a heal where the group heal could have been more. Dude, stop grabbing Blaze. Don't do Rampart again, I swear. Okay, Retribution's fine. Pressure crash. A lot of stress coming in. I can't believe we got that stun again. That's crazy. Got some blight on there. Oh, dude, the low roll again. Fuck, that's so fucking bad. Got good blight on her now. Thing is, I'm just stacking the crits received on her, even though the stun's not needed. I, he I don't think our healing's going to be enough, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried that our healing isn't really doing a good enough job. Like that, like, you're low rolling every single time, my guy. You can't be low rolling like this. That, that, that's devastating for us. She, she's about halfway dead, so we're not doing too bad. Dude, why do you keep fucking picking on Blaze? Leave him alone. Navarre's not as bad, but still not great. Because now we don't have good healing. Lights keeping up. I don't like the fact that we can't use Navar at all well correctly because of the positioning. I didn't even think about how bad that would be for us. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so we could lose a hero here very easily. Uh, things aren't going great. Stress is, is kind of creeping a lot faster than I would have expected as well. Mob light, that's great. Really good to see. Good damage there. Okay, damage-wise we're doing well, but I'm just really worried about uh, our backline. Good dodge there. I can't believe... Like, I didn't stun that time. I, I said it prematurely, but it's been stunning so much. Please don't do it again. Okay, warmth is annoying, but mostly fine. A heal of six is, is, is not much. But we can't heal with him unless he's in position one, which is... Dude, really? Okay, thank God you dodged that. He's almost dead. I think we just need to go for the kill. We're going to get a stress check probably before this ends. Okay, 16 health left. Blight helps out a ton there. What? Uh, what? 
Really? Okay, I, I did this wrong. I didn't realize you couldn't do anything from the back. I thought thrust away from any position. We want to be reducing... Uh, yeah, let's, let's do these two. Yeah, there you go. That's mostly fine. I resisted. Finally, we got one resist. Okay, this is going to be a... Oh, no. No deaths at all. Lovely. Oh, really? You got two health left? Okay, that was that was risky. That that didn't feel great. Uh, my healing wasn't particularly on point there, but good, good, right. You get healed up from that. Okay, good, good, good. We just about got through that. Let's return to the hamlet. That was that was scary. That was scary, but we got through it and we got a really good trinket out of it as well, which I'm pretty happy about. And we've got a bunch more people to level 4, which I'm very happy about as well. Cool. Very happy about all of that. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard Ooh, Let's, uh, unequip, do that, and then put some stress healing on these guys. First of all, just check everyone can do everything, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even upgrade Blaze or... I didn't even, There was like three people I didn't even upgrade. Oh, wait, no, they've only just hit level four, haven't they? Still, I think I still could have upgraded them. Yeah, I could have. Very much my bad. Very much my bad. Oh. Right, let's see who we've got uh, to bring on board. Hey, we got the sisters class, finally. Um, good old sisters. We'll take those on board. And, yeah, I think that's it from that side. And we'll just quickly check what we've got going on in here. 30% max HP, 3 crit. A lot of extra food consumed. Okay, that's not great. Extra healing skill, scouting chance, and debuff resist is pretty interesting. Um, Repost, minus 30% damage, friendly skill, self-mark. On repost hit self one block fifty percent. That's kind of interesting. Don't think any of those are the things we want right now though. Let's quickly take a look at more of these and see if there's any more of these that would uh that would behoove us to get right off the bat. Let's go right to the back and have a little look, see. We'll just scroll through. If there's any that I because the what what was the one before that gives you bonus loot? That one sounded interesting. Was that back over here? 50% loot chance. Um, yeah, let's let's take... It's quite expensive, but let's take that, I think. The f I don't know what 50% loot chance even really means, I'll be honest, but I, I think it's going to be good. And let's just see if there's any others in here that are, like, something that we could take that aren't class-specific. Just zoom past these ones real quick. Uh, courtyard, Crimson. Upgrade cost... This one's pretty good. That save us money in the long run. Um, we need a hundred of those, though. Not ideal. That's pretty good as well. Random provisions each week for free. Trap disarm, resolve XP. That's kind of interesting. A one. Um, it's very expensive though in terms of the money. Extra max HP. That's that's pretty good as well. Again, quite expensive though, money wise. We want to be going for things that are like thirty thousand dollar lower, really. Um, money wise. Extra idle stress relief is nice too. All curios heal at least two stress. Let's go for that. That seems useful. It's not it's not a lot. Like that's not a ton of stress relief, but I think that's useful. Um See if there's anything else that can do well for us here. Anything else? The fair weather fighter thing is pretty good. Bunch of bonuses while max HP. Diseases granting things is pretty good. Light heroes, virtues and afflicted, 
guarding. Okay, I think that's good for now. We got some good stuff there. All heroes healing two stress just is it's not crazy good. And I'm guessing it only affects the hero that uses it. But you never know. Two stress could be the difference between a stress check and not a stress check. So either way, I think we'll leave off the episode here just after we clear up the last few diaries. We're going to do two more diaries and then end off the episode. So we have the second part of the Ravings of Madness by Rockerin. Three days. Three days of agony. Three days of torment. Three without the light sight. I'm blind here. All I see is sin. It looks like slime. As if um, a room of black wax was melting around you. I can barely breathe. Even the shudders of light are getting dimmer and dimmer. Uriel lays restraints to the bed. An addition from the clinic due to his repeated attempts at harm. Having broken a knuckle from striking the wall and knocking himself out from striking the wall with his head. They think they had to aid him. But only allow a deeper illness to fester. I know now why I'm here. To experience true repentance. I only see you now as a flicker. But I know you are with me. Uriel bites his lip hard enough to bleed. I see your guidance now. I have been too forgiving to this pit. There is no saving it. It must be purged. But how? A guard passes by, looking within. Feeling bit any better today, Uriel? I know you don't like this, but it's to help you. You know that, right? Uriel's trademark smile returns to his face. The only, um, the astute would note the malice behind his eyes. His voice isn't frantic or boisterous. It is calm, even, and uh, almost kind. Of course I understand. Sometimes one must do a cruel action to help, right? Yeah. Maybe if we can calm down, we can get you out of that coat. Yuri looked to the guard. It's quite alright. The winter is coming, and it's quite warm. Besides, it's for my own good, right? I harbor no hate for you, or anyone else here. Not anymore. I just want to help. And then we have part two of the Bacilla diary entry from Dr. Samus Junkie. Speaking of case, he came to me with an odd request um, shortly before we left that I had been mulling over during our expedition. His master from the uh, uh, arena, some pompous prick whose name I didn't care to remember, had apparently tracked him down to the hamlet and confronted him. Caius asked me to purchase him, leaving me at a crossroads. On the one hand, I could turn this bastard inside out with a flick of my wrist. On the other hand, that could lead to a lot of deaths of innocent hands. The price of the contract was quite hefty and paying it would only inflate the slave driver's ego. Um, it's quite the conundrum. I'll consult my relative on this one. It's his money after all. Maybe he can think of an angle I can't see. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I think, I think, once we get Lady Vixen up to level 4, I think we are then ready to enter the courtyard. I realise that the early missions are going to be super easy because they're level 1 missions, and we're just going to breeze through them. But still... Also, I want to do some more stuff in the Sunward Isles, so we'll see what we can go for there. I'm basically waiting for a trinket that is actually going to affect the classes that we're playing with. We also need to come back to this at some point as well and do the Ringmaster trinkets uh, thing, because that was scary last time. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.